Girl. One person watching. I need to set up the camera correctly and I'm going to be recording at the same time. Welcome to my channel. Oh, there is somebody saying hello. Hello. Kelly Rawson. Hello. Kelly Ann. Sorry. I don't think I have the right glasses on right now. <laughs> I don't even think I picked up the right brain this morning. I'm happy to be back. I'm running my machine right now on my back, so I have to stay standing. And I figured, why not stay standing and do um, a video at the same time with you guys? I miss you guys. LOL. So I want to show you what I have on my back. It's a bone growth machine because I had surgery. I don't know if you know, Kelly. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna catch it. Uh, right here, this machine. Not sure if you can see that. Let me put the camera maybe like that. Whoa. Maybe. But I need to put the camera correctly. Oh yeah, you, yes, I saw the video. Yes, I saw the machine. Okay. Let me put the, let me put the camera correctly and I need to go grab, let me see. I think I can watch the live in the comments on my computer, hang on. It's been a long time since I've been live, so I don't rem remember exactly or how to even get into my computer, to be honest. There we go, all right. That's, why does it say sign in? I can't see you guys right now. I can't see the comments. Give me one second. I need to hurry because I can't last too long standing. Where's my keyboard? There it is. So we're gonna be doing a dried flower lantern. Oops, why am I putting that? I'll show you in a second. I have lots and lots of things I want to do with you guys. It's still telling me to sign in. <sighs> Always asking for my password even though Okay, let's see if I remember my password. Oh boy, I don't remember my password. I'm going to have to check on my phone for my password. Give me one second. So it's going to... might turn off for a second. Hang on. Nope, I don't know. Don't you guys hate it when you can't find your password or you don't remember? Oh, goodness. I think I got it. I got it. It's asking me to two-step verification on my cell phone. All right. 
Yes, it's me. Okay, now can I see my live? Watch chatting. Go live. Okay, I can see myself. Got it. Give me one second. Now I'm going to be able to see you guys. I just got to make sure it's on mute. All right. Yeah, you have so many passwords. Now I could see. All right. Awesome. I haven't lost my touch. So I want to bring down what I'm working on. But before I do that, I need to set you guys up. Well, that's what we're going to work on. Oy. And it's freezing cold. You want to see what it looks like in L.A.? First, say hi to Pixie. Hi, Pico. Her name is Pixie, but we call her Pico. Pico Salsa. So I took, had my husband take down my garden section here because the oranges caused a bunch of mold. Kelly said, hi, Pixie. So we had to remove the, all the planks of wood, which was sad because we did purchase them and they got mold because I was trying to dry oranges. But because of all the rain that LA has been having, thankfully, because we're in a drought. Um, so now I've got to repaint all that. Wait for the rain to be over. I might put like a shield thing up here so that the rain doesn't hit here too much. And there's our rainwater. Even though it's raining, we're collecting rainwater. Gotta help as much as we possibly can. All right, turn that off. Close the door, it's cold, it's rainy. No doggy walks for two days, which the dogs are a bit upset about that. All right, let's set you guys up. I know I should have done this before recording. Oh, you guys get to see what we go through. <laughs> that. And then two, it gives me time and other people time to come find my life just in case they want to join. Also, oh no, you guys are going to go up on here. This duck. Let's get you up there. Also, if you don't mind sharing my live on Facebook or anywhere you guys share your stuff with your friends so we can get more people up here. That might be good enough. It might not. Give me one second. I stepped away from the comments, so give me one second. Oh. Uh, in a minute, you might hear a bunch of noise. Because George left to the market. And you might hear him come back. So, this is what we're going to work on. Now I got to go see if the camera can see it. Oh, as a matter of fact, I could see myself. All right. And then I'm going to start my YouTube camera. So you guys are going to hear me talking to my YouTube camera as well. Because I'm doing the YouTube video tutorial. Hi, Creative Birdies. How are you guys doing today? Today we're live and recording our third part in our lantern repurpose lantern uh, that belongs to my niece. This one here. All right. Let me zoom out. I think I might need to zoom out on my camera as well. Give you right there. Get us all set up. 
Oh, pretty. Thank you. Well, I zoomed a little too much. All right, I think that we're fine. You're very close. Okay, let's pull you up some and put you down some. I think that might be good enough. Okay. Let's see if I can make my screen a, a little bit bigger. But then I can't see comments, so I can make it that big. I wonder if I could drag the screen. No. I found the most delicious candy at CVS. What's it called? Yum, yum, yum. These are funny. Let's see if I can... What happened to my... There it is. I turn my machine on. Okay, we got 13 minutes. All right. Okay, Creative Birdie. We might run out of battery on our recording for YouTube video for this camera up here. Okay. Lindor white chocolate strawberry cream truffle. <laughs> You're speaking my language. Yes. I'm going to make pancakes tonight. In the freezer? Mmm. Yummy. So, for those watching, um, I'm chatting on live, and Kelly just said that she bought some CVS. Lindora white chocolate strawberry cream truffle from CVS and she's sticking it in the freezer. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's see. So this one needs to go down a little bit more. But I need to get rid of my OCD. Um, and this part right here got a little bit of... Oh, you guys are backwards now that I'm noticing. You guys are backwards. Okay, I'll try to remove the camera in a second. See this here? There's stain from the dye from the flowers. So I'm gonna clean that up right now. Let's see, how am I gonna clean it up? What doesn't show on camera? Oh, the stain, really? Yeah, it's stained. Let's see. Let me get it closer. I have to wait for the screen to show me. Let's see. Wrong place. Right there. Possibly, if I turn it a little bit. Oh, it's okay. Let me show this. Can you guys see? It's, I guess maybe it's just in person. So we're going to get make. Um, I am using the Mod Podge. So 
Let's put some down. Oh, I need to go get my brush. Very slow footsteps. I used to be able to rush and run. Not anymore. Anyways, um, let's continue. So, how am I going to cover that stain? I'm going to get pieces. of other flowers. And then just place them here where I see the stain. I'm going to crinkle them as, as well as if it belongs like like they belong to one another. So YouTube camera is going to shut off any minute now, and then I'll turn it back on. Not this camera, the other camera. So I'm just tearing pieces from here. And sticking it in here as if it belongs. So how was everybody's New Year's? I've been working on this every single day, daily, every little bit. As much as I can, because my niece doesn't have her lampshade in her living room. So it might look like a dungeon. <laughs> I hope not. That one looks a little messy, so we're going to clean that up. I'm going to put some of my glue on the side over here. Hello, habanero butterfly. So far, so good. Thank you. I, my husband loves habanero chili I can't handle it um, I was not raised eating chili I was raised eating lasagna sauce from Costa Rica because that's my my culture but I am familiar and have cooked particular items for my husband well I'm not gonna say husband because he doesn't have a right to be called husband until he marries me so my boyfriend, which sucks to call him boyfriend. I'm not gonna get on that rant though. And it's a decision of mine, right? I'm still sticking around after 27 years. <laughs> Other people would have left. After three kids though, you kinda, kinda stay stuck. But it's not stuck, I love the guy. And he loves me. I miss you guys so much. These two years of healing and the trauma and that I've been going through. Costa Rica, yay! It's my dream place also. I've been there plenty of times. But it is my dream place to purchase um, a vacation home to be there a few times a year. I'm working on that right now as we as we speak as far as income. 
Thank you, Kelly. Hablo español. I have no problem. No tengo ninguna problema hablando español. Aunque tenga yo acento de americano, es porque he estado viviendo aquí toda mi, mi vida. But I, I can speak both languages. But yeah, I'm working on that. My husband lost his job, unfortunately. Un poco, Kelly says. I'm I'm not feeling better. It's it's really difficult. I don't know, Kelly, if you have um, a disability or chronic pain. I'm just fighting through it right now. That's what I'm doing. Um, fighting through it, and I'm I'm on medication, very strong medication, which I had to get counseling before I got on this medication because I was being really hard on myself. I didn't want to be classified as a drug user. You have fibromyalgia. Okay. I, I thought so. I thought I remembered that. Yeah, I didn't want to be treated or feel, feel like an, a drug user. Um, so I had to get a lot of counseling before I accepted the fact that I was going to have to use... Uh, I think it's called a Percocet. I'm not sure. Soy mexicana. Nací aquí en California. But I'm proud of my culture. Amen, sister. I'm proud of your culture. I'm proud of my culture. I'm proud of culture, period. Chronic pain from fibro and migraines. That's terrible. I don't know if you know Kelly Donovan. She's asleep right now. She's in Jersey. And she goes to sleep at 8 o'clock. And I'm in California, so it's three hours before my time. Let's see. I don't want to take this too far. Oh, you're French. You're in Maine. Ooh, is it raining over there? My daughter wants to move to Maine. All my kids moved out. I had a really hard time with that, which I had to get counseling for that too. Because um, my life has been stay-at-home mom 24 hours. Oh, you follow Kelly Donovan? I love Kelly. She's my, my, she's my girl. Oi, Kim. Que mu view. Q. Quay. Quay, are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at me, Kelly. Quay, Mew, Dior, Diao. I don't know. Funny. Funny, Kelly, to try to get me to say something. Um, yeah, so I, I'm having chronic pain. And I'm just, I'm just learning to deal with it at times I can, like right now. My voice is groggy. This is not my normal voice that you guys have heard for many years. Means, yes, it's raining. <laughs> Don't play trickery with me. No fuckery here. Yes, fuckery here. I love fuckery. Who doesn't love fuckery? Well, I'm only going to speak for myself. I love fuckery. I love trickery. Yeah, it's not my normal voice. And that's because of the medication. Kelly retracted a message. What did you say? All right. I think we're done here with this part. Oh, no. There's still more over there. This one's in perfectly good shape. So I'm not going to use that piece. This is why when I dry flowers, I don't throw away pieces. <laughs> Excuse me. That have fallen apart because I'm gonna use them as fillers. I know that I can take things too far with art, but it's just my way. Pronounce like this. We, Mui, do, Dio, Del. <laughs> How, I'm not even good at English. 
What are you using to glue the flowers? So you have options to use for flow gluing flowers down. You can use Mod Podge, any, any Mod Podge. Sorry, it's backwards. I'm very passionate when it comes to sharing. Not teaching, because I cannot teach you anything. But I can share with you guys. And that's my model. I've always said, nobody can teach me. Oh, there's my machine. Hang on. Nobody can teach me. But people can share with me. And it's up to me to take that advice. Right? Because nobody can ever understand where we are in life. By the way, I look like trash. Let's see if you guys can see me. <laughs> oh, I can barely get down there. Let's see. No, you, you guys didn't see me. I could squat. I can't bend, but I can squat. So let me squat. I need you guys to see my trash. Let's see. Hello, friends. <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the monitor. Oh, wait, you still can't see. Now can you see me? You can see me. Hello. <laughs> I'm very good at squatting. Extremely good at squatting. But I can't squat to shower because my shower is too short, too small. So I still have to get showered. Somebody always has to come and shower me every day, which sucks. But that's my trashy look for today. Um, what are you using for glue? Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll show you in a second. There you go. You got it. Thank you. Kelly, good philosophy. Hello. <laughs> nice hat. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. Um, there is one time when I was not... Um, when, when I was healthy, basically, I'm healthy. Basically, I had a, um, butterfly. I had, um, a fusion. I have eight rod, wait, I have eight screws, two rods, and two discs placed in my back because of a car accident that I was put into. And the reason I say that is because the lady chose to run me over because she looked at me and she's seen how much uh, space she had and she made that choice and that decision became the consequence of my life and she ran me over and I was pinned between my car at first and her car and then I was pinned holding on to my car and under one of her tires half of my leg that day that that happened, I was getting an exam for a breast lump that they found, and I was scared. And I was on live that day with you guys. This was in 2020. If you hear the walking, it's the dogs. I was in 2020. Let me show you the glues. And I had you guys live because you guys were my biggest support back then. I had just finished my relationship or uh, what is her name? I pink poodle crafts. I forgot her name. Darn it. Uh, Shelly? No. What is pink poodle crafts? I can't believe I forgot her name. It's not on purpose. I promise. But here are the glues. You can use Mod Podge Outdoor. Mod Podge paper, whatever Mod Podge sprinkle, whatever Mod Podge you can find. They have them at the dollar store. The only reason I have these is because I have a contract with the company. To solely use their, their product only. And, uh, oh, Stacy, yeah, there you go. Um, at that time, Stacy ended her relationship with me and that's fine because she has her reasons and those are genuine reasons for her, right? 
I can't argue that they're not genuine because I am not her. But anyways, uh, let me close my door because my husband, my boyfriend just got home. You can also use white school glue, which I do. I mix white school glue in a bottle from the dollar store. You get two for a dollar here in California. And I mix it with water and I use that. I also do it in my old vape. I used to vape, I don't vape no more. Um, my old vape bottle things. So I, I make a mixture in there. I know daddy's here. I'm recording, okay? Good. You gonna come in here? Come in here. Close the door if you go in the kitchen. Okay, okay let me catch up with the chat. Uh, oh, you don't need to get into it. We, we all have choices. Uh, who we have in our lives at the moment and who we don't have in our lives at the moment, you or her. Um, and yeah, I understand that you don't want to get into it. Um, I totally respect that. But what I was saying is at that time, she cut relationships with me and my girlfriend, my best friend, uh, Janet Marsh, passed away from cancer. So my support was you guys. So I was live and it was time for me to get out the car. So I ended my live. And uh, got out the car. Um, so let's say this is the front of the car. I was in the passenger. My husband was driving. Two people that work there came over to us, said hello, asked if they want to park. We wanted us, wanted them to park our car. We said, sure. Is it free? They said, yes. So they parked our car. Oh, they were going to park our car. My husband got out to give them keys. I came out of my car. Okay, we're in the parking lot at a cedar cyanide building that they were renting for the breast cancer uh, facility. I came out my car, came out my car. I already seen the lady behind me over here in her car. She's waiting impatiently. I come out my car. I tell my husband, I need to get my jacket. He opens the trunk. I said, oh no, it's not in the trunk. It's on the passenger back seat. And so I started going there. I looked at her. She looked at me, went to the passenger, opened my door, closed the door, started heading back, just barely, barely started heading back. I paused. I looked right at her. She looked right at me. She made a conscious decision to come at me. And that's when she hit me, ran me over. That's why I say, she purposely did it, consciously. She put me in that consequence. She made that choice. Anyways. So, yeah, you can use any one of those glues. Uh, yeah, so I ended up going in to get my breasts checked after, after the argument that she was giving me an argument she said she didn't hit me. She would, well, first she didn't want to stop the car. My husband forced her to stop her car. Forced her to get off of me, first of all. And um, let's continue gluing while we're doing this. Forced her to get off of me. Once she got off of me, my husband forced her to get out the car to give us her information. She jumped out her car like she was going to beat my ass, right? She's yelling at me. Uh, she was telling me, I told her, Lady, you running over, you rounding me over, and she's like, "No, I did not." I said, "You're, you're on me. Get off of me." I'm all shaking. I think that this is literally the first time I talk about it in a while. Get off of me! I told her. My husband's all, "Get off of her!" And um, I don't think I want this piece here. No, I don't. Let's see. Where are you gonna go? Get off of her, my husband told her. I'm going to have to fix this part. Make it into a flower because it doesn't look correct. 
get off of her. And the lady's like, I'm, I, I'm doing nothing. I said, I'm sorry. I need to get my breast checked. I'm, I told her, I'm sorry you're here, but you just ran me over. Why did you do that? I was like yelling at her. And she says, I said, I'm sorry. I told her, I'm sorry you're here too. I don't understand your situation, but I'm so scared. And she said to me, you're here because it's your karma. You're just going to have to let her go in and out, babe. Yeah. And I'm a little bit, babe. Can you grab this camera because it's upside down? Help me figure out it. <clears throat> where to place this camera because come over here. They can't see you. Give me a second, you guys. This is what I see. This is what they see. It's upside down. See? So I see. I want this camera. I don't know where we could put it to flip it to. Right here, maybe here. I won't. Don't think I'll bump it. Okay. If you can unclip it for you me. You want me to do that now? Yeah. So, anyways, the lady says. So you guys are gonna get all wiggly right now. We're moving the cameras. So there's eleven viewers. Can you guys say hello? So I know who's in here. Let me make it bigger. It's a little slow, so it'll take it a little, little by little. How's that? I think that's pretty good. I could just... I could uh, push this out outwards a little bit, perhaps. And just re-angle. Then there will be an angle like that. Right? Oh, you want them like, like literally hovering over? Kind of. So maybe right here. Okay. Maybe more. So the way it was previously, wasn't that good enough? Let's see right here. It's just that I couldn't unclamp it. I barely took my medicine. Okay, because of anything, um, I think I could do something else. I'll clamp it here. Yep. Okay. I'm going to look at the chat and I'll talk to you guys at the same time. Hey, April. Yeah, I know. Challenges of life. Things that happen in life, right? I'm sorry for anything you've had to go through as well. So, um, what had happened? I might miss some parts. I'm not legally binding myself to this exact story. One, I'm, it's been a while. Two, I'm trying to create art at the same time as speaking. So I'm just giving you guys the gist. So I'm not legally binding myself to this exact story. Um, yeah, say hello to each other. So Habanero Butterfly. Uh, April just came in. She said hello. To, you guys say hello to each other. You guys and make friends. Make friends. This is this is what I like about YouTube. We all can make new friends and connect through arts and crafts and chatting and get therapy at the same time. Go ahead, go that way. Help each other get therapy at the same time. Don't forget to thumbs up. That helps my al algorithm here on YouTube. You can also uh, donate, give a tip if you can, if you want, if you're able, to, financially able to. I'm grateful for that. Um, but yeah, introduce yourselves. Love on each other. Uh, back two years ago, it has to stay on this camera. Do you need a view here or no, just... No, I'm viewing down there. Okay. So perhaps could you hold this? I can't open that. No, I'm going to open the thing. You're going to need this? Nope. Oh. Just put it down there. It's going to fall. Just hold the phone like this. I'm going to open this to clamp it. I 
press the buttons, Eric. <laughs> All right, we're on. Is it in? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Somehow you flipped it. Oh, no. Hang on. <laughs> Can you open it? Oh, dear God. Hang on, you guys. All right. Back could, in, you guys go. Ceiling, ceiling, alert, ceiling. <laughs> How's that? That's perfect. Okay, sorry. You hit me and I said sorry. And then you could, um, <laughs> I guess, you know. No, I think it's perfect. Okay. That's good enough. And then I'm going to zoom. Should I zoom? Let's see if I could zoom. Can I get a stool there? Yeah, babe? I was just going to say. Oh, I did zoom. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of the delay? Yeah. I think that's almost good. Hang on. Let's see if I did zoomed again. 42 minutes already. Wow. Oh, Yay, yeah. right side up. Awesome. Can you guys share my video? Get more people in here so we can chat, talk, advise one another. Good. Yeah, can I get a stool? Just in case I need to do it more. Mm -hmm. George is here always 24 hours helping me. Um, so, yeah, I was saying that I'm not legally binding myself to this story because I'm creating at the same time as chatting. Um... So I'm just giving you the gist of what happened. Yes, so I, I was, yeah, that's good. Apologetic to her, even though I had just got hit. Because I'm that kind of person, sensitive. I'm a, I don't know if it's true, but I'm a Pisces. I got to get up here and zoom you guys correctly. I'm a Pisces. Let's see, is that good? And um, <clears throat> here we go. Babe, can I get water, please? Drinking water? Yes. He says drinking water because he thinks that maybe I need it for the crafts, which would be sink water. You don't know how? Oh, okay, that's fine, don't worry. If you wanted me to show you, I can advise you on how to show you. You just go down on the bottom and it says share video. That's if you want. No big deal. I'm barely getting back here um, with you guys. I'm hoping to get back here all the time with you guys. You guys inspire me so, so much. So, so much. It's not even a joke. You guys get me through. Like I say, like I said, um, the day that, that all this happened, I was um, live streaming for the support that you guys were giving me. Oh, let's see. Where else are we going to put more? Where do you guys suggest I do? How about that? I'm going to keep this piece for using for pieces. So we're going to put that there. It takes about two hours for my medication to kick in. Um... Hello, I was actually watching a six-year-old video of yours yesterday. Hey, that's awesome. That gives me chills because it makes me feel like I'm still relevant. Six years. Yeah, introduce yourselves. Let's make friends. Hi, Kelly. Song Bits Laura says, hi, Kelly. I'm not sure if Butterfly is still in here. I thought you were gone. No, I'm not gone. I'm, I'm rehabilitating right now. I haven't been back for a while. I try here and there. I really do try to put videos up here and there. Let me catch you up to speed. One, I jump around when I speak. <laughs> One, because I'm excited to be on live and to actually have people on live with me. I'm excited that you have been watching my video a few, when was it? Yesterday? That excites me. And I always try to jump back into my story. Did you do your belt? Yeah. Okay. And if I don't, 
I don't mind if you tell me, hey, secret, you jumped to this, that one story. Can you finish it off? I don't mind. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah, um, I was apologizing to her for her being at the breast center. I don't know if I like this purple one that's right there. Let's try that. No, I don't like that either. And she said, it's your karma for you, what you're doing. And then eventually she got out the car. I couldn't believe what she said, right? And then she got out the car and my, I was on the floor. And then I got up the valet parking. People put a chair for me to sit on. So I had a lot of witnesses. Yeah, I was apologizing. It, it, and I think that's a trauma response from my childhood of me being so apologetic, even though it's not my fault. But that's something I'm working on right now. And I'm grateful to be working on it because at least I recognize it. Um, wait, why am I peeling on that? <laughs> so the, I sat down where they have, they wanted me to sit um, inside of the parking lot. I sat down. Where's my flowers? That's what's going on. I don't have options. Let's bring my options in. Um, I was very apologetic. Even though it was me being the victim, right? Do I like that there? Do you need to go pee pee? I need to let one of the dogs go pee pee. She wants to take a, you know what, a little skedaddle around the neighborhood, but we can't because it's raining. Uh, oh, I have that trauma problem too. Yeah, it it's not a good thing to have, but it's a good thing to recognize. And my advice, because I, like I said earlier, I can't teach you. I could just share with you because I don't know where you're at in life and nobody knows where I'm at in life. Like you don't physically live here and I physically don't live with you. So I can't say, I can't teach you what to do, but I can advise you what I've done. Um, does that look good there? No, it does not. I'm not too happy with this random piece up here, but we'll work on it. Um, so we sat down she asked us, oh no, she said to me, oh, we asked her for her driver's license and insurance and all that stuff. And she said, no. And she said, give me yours. And we said, sure, we'll give you your ours. I was crying. I'm so glad you're back because I'm a, sh I'm a shut in and your voice was always so inspiring to me. Oh, Kelly, thank you. But like I said, my voice has changed because of the medication that I'm on. I've become very like, uh, and sometimes it's worse than others. But I don't care. At least I have a voice and I'm able to speak, right? I don't want that to come off in in any negative way. I'm, I don't know. I, I don't hope I wasn't offensive by saying that. It's, uh, I will say sorry then be like to myself, what the heck am I sorry for? Yeah, I do that. That's right, you rock. Oh, you rock too, Kelly. Everybody here rocks. You rock for being here and supporting me. I will try to support everybody. If I have enough to support, I will support. But the first person I say for myself, the first person I need to support first is myself. And if I have extra then I will support others but I won't empty my cup anymore for any other person other than my animals myself and my partner and that's that that's about it to where I extend um but if I have extra extra yeah I'll share with friends but I don't have any friends I just have you guys which is not putting you guys down but what I mean is I don't have physical friends um, yeah, no physical friends right now. I don't know if I'm going to turn all of this into a whole big bouquet. 
kind of thing. I will come back to my story here and there. I just want to finish this. Whoop, I broke it. So I dry my own flowers as well. Let me show you what I dry them in. And it's not expensive. And I didn't buy it recently. I bought it a while back. And this piece here. I think it was un it had to be under $12. It really did. So what you do It doesn't come with this many. I bought extra. Eventually I bought extra because I was doing so many flowers. Let me show you guys. So when I go around the neighborhood, I pick flowers from people. So if I you happen to see me picking in front of your yard, please don't yell at me. Just come out and give me a bag so I could take more. <laughs> okay, so you put the plastic down. That's what gives um, aeration. Then you put this felt piece down, which is really thick. And then you put this cloth down that feels to me to be some kind of linen. Linen, let's just say linen. Then you get your flowers, fresh flowers. I just throw mines down because I'm not anal that way. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> I just throw them down. I really don't place them. I, I, I'm, I swear to you, you can tell that I trial and error, I burnt one. That can happen. So you place them down. You stick another piece on top. That's it. Uh, you put the other felt on top. You put the plastic. You get this piece. This is the whole set that you buy the first time. You do this. Stick it in your microwave for 30 seconds. Don't leave. Don't leave. Once the 30 seconds is done, either you trust yourself to come back and remember that you have this thing in the microwave because if you leave it there, it's going to get moldy because there's moisture. It hasn't dried out yet on the first 30 minute, 30 second run. You're going to have to put it in 30 seconds twice. But you have to let it cool off. So for myself, I pull it out and I put it on the counter so I can remember that's what I'm doing. Let it cool. You can open it up and let it cool, right? Open it up. Take the felt off. Let it cool like that. Or leave the felt on and let it continue its process. Put that aside. And this is why I bought extra. Because I want to be able to do another one. While this one cools, I want to be able to do another one. So same thing. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Felt. Linen. Fresh flowers. Linen. Felt. Plastic. Cover. 30 seconds. Pull it out. By the time this one's done, this one's good enough. And repeat. That's why I bought extra. But I love this thing. There's another one out there. How interesting, Kelly says. Song bits. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a set. Yes, neat. I like this set. My flowers would always get moldy no matter how I dry them. Me too. Me too. Especially being in Maine. That's why you need to come to California. No, just joking. I just need clo people closer to me. I'm not... I'm not messing with Maine. Maine is a beautiful place. Um... I'm going to put this away now. Whoops, there's flowers in here. Yeah, I bought extra pieces because I wanted to be... And I would like to even get more extra pieces. Extra felt and extra linen. Because I like to continuously go at it when I can. Um, I don't know which flowers dry w well. I just keep trying. Now, if you put it in for too long or too fast, it will burn. That's why I say don't leave if you're going to continuously do it. My friend Teresa Brady 
lives in oh yeah I know Teresa Brady lives in Kelly I didn't know she lived in Cali I live in Los Angeles area near Dodger Stadium but don't come kill me see there goes my voice is starting to go raspier because I just took my medication at 9 30 and that's what happens Anyways, let's start working on the other side since I'm a little confused on this side. <laughs> My friend too, Kelly. <laughs> Teresa Brady. <sighs> she has a channel, right? It's been a while. Teresa Brady. There's a lot of YouTubers and I have no shame. I have no shame because my story is my story and my truth is my truth. Their truth is their truth. But there's a lot of people I don't talk to anymore um, for good, for my own good reason and for my own mentality, my own brain and my own self-esteem. Yes, she has a channel. I have to look her up to remember who she is. I didn't watch anything. Right now I'm addicted to TikTok. I actually have a TikTok channel. I just screw around on there. I don't do DIYs yet. I only have one DIY on there. But otherwise, either I'm just messing with filters. Um, I think I did one pr product promotion on there. But I do say that TikTok, for me, is a great uh, partner for people that have chronic illnesses. Because we feel like we have company. Especially when we can't art or craft because our brain is stuck on pain. And that's what happens with me. Let me bring this up. My brain gets stuck on pain. And sometimes my brain gets stuck on other things, other issues that are happening in life. Um, the worst part is when you can't just be mobile. Uh, right now I am working on well, not just me. That's unfair. My husband and I, my boyfriend and I are working on um, a business adventure because he's unemployed. And so am I, other than here. That's why when I panhandle, <laughs> that's a terrible way to say it, but people are going to say it behind my back, so I'll say it first. Um, it's not for no reason. I have no shame asking for help I understand that totally debilitating when I have a fibro flare and migraine you are correct you are true in your own truth right I'm true in my truth nobody will even though I believe that um, other people that have fibromyalgia can connect to you your feelings and your pain I still believe that they can't 100% <clears throat> understand because of the other issues that you may be having in life. Um, therapists are great, but you have to get the right therapist to understand your own culture. That's my problem, is I need a therapist to understand my own culture and my my cultural ways the way i've been raised as a child as a my culture raises children because i have to work through all of that stuff um even now going through this accident and having the major surgery that i had in my back um i need to go through my childhood oh that's pretty but it won't go there I need to go through my child traumas because they're affecting me with this accident. It's strange, but it all connects. All of it connects. Where are we going to place this guy? Childhood trauma connects with any major life uh, incident that may happen. I see that that's cute though I kind of like that I think I'm you see the rust there's rust I like the rust right there I think I may purposely do the rust let me show you guys this is not even halfway done I have got a lot to do I'm thinking I'm going to do designs 
and I think I'm gonna sew, hand sew some stuff in here too. She'll get this back in five years. Um, I'm, I'm right now in a lawsuit. My surgery, just the surgeries at um, a million and my bills continue and continue to go higher and higher and we're paying out of pocket right now. My machine that I have on my back that helps stimulate growth in my bones was $15,000. I had to throw out my couch and purchase a new couch four times until I found the right couch and the couch that I have is still not the right couch uh, to uh, help me with my back. And it's not just my back. She messed up my whole foot, my whole leg, my whole leg. All of my back, the bottom of my feet, and my butt cheeks, and my brain. Yeah. Um, so she, she, she's being sued to her limit because she has a limit um, because I don't think she has any property. Supposedly, I don't know. But she doesn't have any property. I'm just going to continue with this one. I think I'm going to go all the way up. She has no property. But they're going to sue her. They already got money from her insurance. I don't know what the the value of that is. I think it's like 50000 maybe. That's already been used through. I didn't use it, but that's already going to go into um, medical bills. And then pain and suffering. I don't know how that's going to work. But we're also suing the building. It's not just her. We're suing the building. One, because the employees there. Oh, this is a good piece. The employees there offered to park my car when it really wasn't something that they were doing. And because of that, they put me in danger. And we're suing because they had no cameras. Um, the endangerment that they put me in, I could have lost my life. Anybody could have lost their life. So I think I'm going to do a trellis Oh, that is so cute. That is just a random piece that makes no sense when I first seen it. But once I dried it and I have it out right now, it makes sense. So use, don't go, oh, that's that's not a cute flower. Just try it. Just try it. There will be duds and there will be good ones. Okay, just like humans. <laughs> I even have um, leaves from the fig tree. Yeah, I'll try that too. Let's see. Oh, you know what? My perspective on karma, I don't know where that, that's at right now. And the reason I say that is because then help me, help me or advise me or help me understand anybody here. I'm open to conversation, of course. Not debate. I won't debate you, but we'll, we can have a conversation. You can pull out when you like and I can pull out when I like. Um... Help me understand this with karma. Another thing, help me understand. Wait, but first let's put this. <laughs> as far as karma goes, does that mean that the car accident that happened to me or was brought to me by the decision that the woman made, does that mean that that was my karma coming to me? Did I do something bad? To, you're not going to offend me. It's only your advice, right? Or it's only your your thoughts. And I understand that. I'm asking with with open mind. And I'm, a, I'm asking with understanding to anybody. Um, except for if you, if you get disrespectful, Kelly, just joking. I will block disrespectful comments. Well, I know you girls won't, but just in case somebody else is just peeking and wants to be disrespectful. But I do um, advise if you're going to be disrespectful, go ahead, do it. And the reason I say that is because I'd rather know your true colors, know who you are, before I even try to become my friend. Um, so yeah, I'd rather know true colors. Let me cut this piece off. There we go, now that lays. We have other pieces too. Hola. 
I'm glad you're back. So, um, yeah, so does that mean that when we say, oh, it's that person's karma, they're going to get it back, does that mean that it was my karma at that time? Possibly, because I was a bad kid. <laughs> I was not a bad kid, actually. I was a really good kid. I was a really good kid. But as a teenager, I looked for love in all the wrong places, as a lot of us do. But I don't think that that means that you're a bad kid. That just means you're trying to learn life as it's prone, as it's um, put in front of you, right? So, no, you're not a bad kid. Okay, you'll be right back. Just let me know when you come back so I can open the door. So, I have these as well. I didn't think they, well, actually, I did think that they were going to dry better. But I think maybe on a black, let me back up. Whoa, on a black background, they'll show up a lot better. So if nobody has anything, no advice to say to that, I understand as well. Just tell me you have no, no clue. I don't want to put you on the spot at all. I'm just asking. Just a topic to speak about. That's it. It's just a topic. I'm not asking for you to answer life questions. <laughs> just a topic. So we're creating like um, a bouquet in a sense right here. As we're speaking, I'm going through hot flashes. I'm not sure if it's Hot flashes because I'm 47, going to be 48. Or if it's hot flashes because of the medication, I'm still not positive. Ooh. I need to get a rubber band to put on my hair right now. Hang on. Babe, can you get me a scrunchie? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you end up bringing me water? Oh, yeah, you did. If you brought me water, you did. I just didn't stop to drink it. Mm. Señora Butterfly. Estás hablando mi modo. Es lo que yo creo. You were meant to tell me that. As a matter of fact... Fine. Yes, thank you. Yeah. yeah, thanks. So, very nice to see you. I was heading to bed. Okay, good night. I have a funeral tomorrow. Oh, I apologize. I wish you well. I wish that you have a lot of strength to get through your day tomorrow. Make sure you drink lots of water and feed yourself some good food. Uh, I, lot, I watch a lot of your Boho Bee videos and lives back in the day. Good night. It was nice chatting with you. Nice to meet you as well. If anybody makes any of my creations and I've inspired you to make something, even if it doesn't look nothing like mine, which is great. <laughs> but if I've inspired the total opposite, I would love to see it. Even if you make exactly what I make. I don't think it can be exact, but similar. I would love to see it. You can email me. Um, karma is for everyone, not my call. Karma is for everyone, not my call. Hmm, that's interesting theory to think about right there. Let's see. I don't think it's your karma. Sometimes we have things happen to break curses from our ancestors. We carry chains. I do agree with that. Don't blame yourself. Karma is real, but it isn't necessarily ours. That is true. We have different karmas. Very, very, very interesting. I'm going to pick that apart because that's what I do. And I'm going to give that a lot of thought because that's what I do. But that's a, that's a theory to think about. Hmm.
Very interesting. Now my brain is racking in there. Thank you. I mean, thank you in a great way. So I'm going to leave one side. I don't know how long I'm going to go on this. I may have to switch standing positions in a little bit. There we go. Right there. Things wants to be here. Okay. Put it back here. Is that fine? Yeah. Then I think I'll go that way as well. I honestly don't believe in karma. Just that she said it was your karma. So I was being snarky and said I want to see her karma. Oh, I get it. I get I 100% get it. 100% get it, get it, get it. And it is something that we tend to say, oh, wait for her karma. Sometimes it's just a conversational piece to say, right? I get it. Um, but I was just, from that topic, because I had spoken to Kelly Donovan about this. And we also spoke about... Um, how people are in your life for either a reason or a season and that's about it and then her and I started talking about that of if that's true if that's really honestly true or or not kind of thing let's see I don't want to take this too far you know what I mean I'm talking about the what we're what, what I'm creating here actually think that's perfect right there because it kind of covers that up all right let's keep going it's gonna hit the ugly spot just like every art that we attempt either even if we're professionals when we're attempting to create you hit that ugly spot and that I think that's where I'm at right now with this my opinion you may think it's beautiful you may think it's ugly my opinion is I'm in the ugly spot right now the phase of ugly but I'm gonna work through it. Because as I said in many videos, and I still believe this is the ugly mistakes or the mistakes that we make in our art, sometimes, most of the time, I wanna say, if you work through it, will be um, the best piece of art that you've ever made. Let's put some color. Let's break this up. Let's see. Oh, I was saying a while back to um, to Butterfly. If you would like to tell me your real name, you can. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. I'll forever call you Butterfly. Um, and sometimes we don't break those karmas in our lifetime. We have chains to break. Do everything that makes you feel good in your heart. And so as long as you feel good within a genuine and genuine that's all that matters. Si lo creo. Si lo creo. Very true. 100% true. 100% true. You see? You've helped me. And I will be able to reflect back on this. Where am I going to put this guy? So I think I'm because I don't feel that it's correct just yet, I think I'm going to try to create a bouquet in a sense. I think I took it too far. What do you think? This girl took this too far. Um, my, okay, uh, let me see if I've back, if I need to backtrack on things that I was saying. Oh, so anyways. Hmm. So she finally gave us her driver's license. While handing us her driver's license, she says to me, but it'll never leave my mind. This will never leave my mind. She says to me, you Mexicans, all you want is money. You Mexicans, all you want is easy money. And I said to her, what are you saying? Why are you saying this to me? You just ran me over. Why are you saying this to me? Let me figure this out.
and she didn't answer me. I was shaking. I knew I still had to go into my appointment to get my breast check, and I was so scared that I had breast cancer. I was legit so scared because of the way the doctor put it that I had to immediately get myself to get my breast checked. I was already in the mindset. I had lost I had lost a puppy, my best friend. I had lost a friendship with Stacy. I had lost my best friend Janet. Um and I was going through this breast thing with doctors telling me different things. I had no support just other than George, which I don't minimize his support at all. I do not. Um, hi, honey. Hi, Bella. Hola, mommy. Anyways, um, I was not in my exact mind when that happened. Hi, baby. Yeah, because at, at that time, because I was stressed over my breasts, I was in a different mindset. I felt like a victim, right? First from the breast checking, right? Then I was in the other uh, victim. I felt like a victim to everything else that was happening in my life. But if she would have caught me at a different time and a different place, I think I would have beat her ass for saying what she said, to be honest. I would have beat her ass for saying, you Mexicans, first of all derogatory the way she put that you mexicans categorizing latinos we come from so many places in in the world uh, categorizing our color our pigmentation of our skin you know i would have beat her ass <laughs> but she didn't get an ass beaten for me she got apologies <laughs> hey let me read the chat it is 2 a.m. here in my in Maine. I need to get some sleep. Thank you so much. Wonderful conversation and crafting. It's nice to be back in your craft room. Thank you. I'm almost ready to get off too. The only thing keeping me going is you guys right now. To be honest. It's funny with the teenagers. They say to be honest. I hate when I get these chest pains. It feels like I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm not, but it scares me. The chest pains are from the medication I'm taking, and I have acid reflux. Where am I going with this? Okay, good night. A veces hay cosas que no podemos evitar. A veces no pasan cosas para reflexionar y a veces son somos puestos como prueba para otros, which may feel unfair. I know. I don't know. But life is a curiosity. It sure is. It sure, sure is. You know what? You speak to me like another lady that I love, Maria. Um, I... Sh Maria is a good supporter, great supporter, online supporter of mine. And she speaks to me the, almost in the same mentality as you, and I love that. I love her. I don't know you yet, though. <laughs> and you don't know me. Yeah, and you will always, and for everybody here, will always only know me and as much as I would like to share, right? Same as you guys. Same way. Same both. Goes both ways, right? So, a little bit about me. I've been creating art. Uh, I first started creating art with my children when they were itty bitty. Even when they were in my belly. My, my baby, the smallest. I mean, not the smallest. My first son. My first child. Um, oh, before I start that story, let me finish my other story so um i still had to get my breast check checked we'll put that there uh so we got her information 
Um, I still had to get on the elevator to go to my doctor's appointment to get my breasts checked. I'm scared. I'm swollen. I'm bleeding. I'm cut. I'm having a nervous breakdown. I don't know where I'm at. In a sense of, I can't believe what just happened to me right now. Why right now? And all of the stuff that was going through my mind. I got on the elevator. A man got in there. It was very uncomfortable. I must have made him very uncomfortable. Because of him seeing me cry. He was hearing me cry. He seen that I was injured because I didn't have my shoe on anymore. My shoe would not fit my foot. That's how bad it was. Uh, my foot swelled up three times its size. Um, I... I needed to go to the emergency. I needed an ambulance, but at the same time, I was told not to skip my breast exam. That's what the word I was trying, been trying to say. <clears throat> I'm very, very, very happy that I'm able to stand for this long right now. You guys are keeping me up, giving me the, you guys are messing with my mind in a great way right now that I'm able to stay standing right now because this this is a long time to be standing because I already cooked. I start my meals the day before. I get half of them done and then I do the other half because we don't eat out often. I'm not going to lie to you. We eat out sometimes, but not often because of money right now. is very tight and we want to be smart. Anyways. So I still get my breast exam. We had to explain to everybody that worked there in the clinic. Beautiful clinic, by the way. Here comes Honey. She wants to be nosy. Hola, mommy. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Quieres venir acá? Say hello. Come right here. Come say hello, Mari. Come. Oh, say hello. <gasps> everybody get the booty. Booty shot. No pictures, please. No pictures. That's honey. <laughs> She's just showing her booty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, butterfly. Honey, mom's working right here. But you could stay right there, mommy. Anyways, um, yeah, my husband works at that hospital. So he knows everybody there. He doesn't work there no more. He just... We, we, he just recently left that company. Um, he worked for a third, com third comp I don't know how to say it. The third company? No. Through a contract. Fixing computers at that, at Cedar Cyanide. Okay. Explain to them what had happened. I felt so bad being there in, in the waiting room to get my breast checked because I was crying so much and my, my, foot was sticking out of my shoe other women were scared because they were there for the same reason some of them already had you know known that they had breast cancer and I'm over here crying and making other people uncomfortable and nervous and I was doing my best not to cry but I was in debilitating pain a third party company yeah I was in such such bad pain it looks like this side of the wall of this lamp is going to get completely covered. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Um, I'm going to let white come through, though. Let's go this way. We're going to do a lot more to this. And I still have other panels to finish. So the reason I'm redoing this for my knees is because it's all torn up on the inside. Let me see if I could show you. I, I kind of remied it. Remied? What, what kind of word is that? I fixed it here. Um, this is the original panel inside, and then I put the new one on the outside. It's just a wrapping paper, piece of wrapping paper from Ikea. Hmm. So I'm sitting there in the waiting room, poor other women watching me cry, we had to, I asked if I, there was a back room that I can just sit in because of what had happened to me. And they said, yes, eventually the main lady, the main director came out 
and guided myself and my husband to a private room where I can be, uh, you know, after being in a car accident or being put in a car accident. I could feel my back wanting to, wanting me to stop. So I may stop in a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they put me in the back room and everybody did their best. They didn't have a wheelchair, but they had chairs that had wheels. And so the nurses were wonderful and they were pushing me around in one of those office chairs. <laughs> and they were kept apologizing to me. And that day I had to get the, the drastic breast check where they do the ultrasound and all of that stuff. I'm not gonna call it junk because that stuff saves people's lives, right? <clears throat> Excuse me while I drink water. I'm going to stick random pieces of leaves to break this up as well. Um, is that leaf too big? Yeah, too big. Let's work on smaller leaves. I know I have a bunch of little broken leaves in here I can work on. Oh uh, yeah, definitely have some. So, what was I saying? Let's put some leaves. I'm just dipping in the glue and then going at it. All this is gonna dry clear. Oh yeah, so the ladies, poor ladies, they were being as fast as they possibly can be with me that shouldn't go there. Let's move you. All right. It took two hours of me laying there in pain for the um, appointment to be over. I was so scared. My God, I was crying. One, because I was scared. Two, I was crying because I was in so much pain. So, so much pain. And my mental brain was just not working that day. Let's see, is there anybody even in here? Yeah, five people. Hello, five people. Um, we're just gonna continue building, see where this takes us. <laughs> I'm gonna make pancakes in a little bit, babe. George, I'm gonna make pancakes in a little bit. Are you gonna want any? I shouldn't. Then don't. I will make. I'll make me seven pancakes. <laughs> Ask me when you're ready. Okay. Um. Yeah. Finally, all that was over with, and then I ended up in the emergency room. But before that, I ended up having to speak to an officer. Okay, you're listening. Having to speak to an uh, the police. Uh, and then they said. They can either come and take me to, with an ambulance or I can walk to the ER, which was right right around there. My husband worked there too. He worked the whole hospital. Um, where are we at? I said I was gonna stick greenery and then instead I continue with the flowers. That wasn't even stuck down. Okay, so I ended up in the emergency uh, I actually, because George works there, the director um, didn't have me go to the emergency. She had me go directly to a foot specialist and directly to get an MRI and get uh, x-rays. And everything was running so fast. Unfortunately, they put a boot on me and told me to come back because a doctor that was seeing me, which was a racist idiot, and his name is Dr. Pfeffer at Cedar Sinai. If you ever need a doctor and you hear that name and you're going to Cedars and you're not white, run the other way. He was going to a Lakers game, so he left me my butt injured from a car accident literally just left me to put a boot on with one of his assistants that was leaving as well to a Lakers game with him. So they literally rushed me. I was grateful to be seen, but I was not grateful to be seen by him. 
I didn't know he was racist. I found out he was racist even more on my second and third appointment with him. Then I finally was like, this guy's, this man is racist. I'm not going to see him ever again. Oh man, I just cracked that piece, but it's okay. Don't feel bad if you need to go. I understand, butterfly. I just came on live. I just took a chance. Um, I don't like that there. Let's remove it. That's a good thing about this. We can remove. So wet. Um, from there, I had to go with the boot straight to the police station in Beverly Hills. They were really nice. They were not racist, thankfully. Um, I stood there for about, or sat there for about two hours in pain. I mean, it's been a whole ordeal. A whole ordeal. But anyways, that was in 2020. Am I going to be that person that will forever have this story and repeat it? <laughs> oh. Anyways, let's jump on to another topic. What were we talking about? Let's talk about you, butterfly. Would you like to? Maybe not. This is public. People can read your comments. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you're here. Are you new to my channel? I need to break it up more. I'm going to let that dry. Let's let this simmer before I continue and continue and continue. I might put a butterfly in there. I know that I'm going to be hand sewing some aspects in here. I wish I didn't put this orchid here. But we're, I will work through all of this when it dries. I'm here. I like your life. Thank you. I like your company. How old are you? Not that it matters. You don't even have to answer that. Actually, you don't need to answer that. I'm 47. Oh, I was saying about my children. My firstborn is 31. If I'm correct, I'm sorry if he's watching. <laughs> I don't know exactly how old he is. I tend to want to forget because then that makes me older. <laughs> how selfish. Anyways, um... No, I don't like that there. Let's work our way up this way. Ooh, here's cilantro, I think. Oh, no, that's not cilantro. That's from a rose. That's pretty. That may break some stuff up over here, which I know it needs to be broken up over here. I'm going to add that right there. So we need some color, some more color instead of just yellow. And then I'll work on this one and back on the other one here and there. So he's 30-something years old. All of my children are out. I started having, having kids when I was 16. I've seen you prior videos recently. And when I saw you live, I had to say hello. <laughs> You've helped me with your old videos. Aw, thank you. You know, I tell my subscribers, my online friends, mis amigas, as much as I help you, and I'm grateful to do that because then it makes me feel good. Um, I need to grab a seat. Hang on. As much as it, I help you, your guys' comments, mentally, physically, change my feeling at the moment. Like you guys inspire me to come back. I've been wanting to come back. Physically, I can't. And honestly, right now, I should be laying down. But just your conversation right now is keeping me going. And I appreciate that so much. Because I have not been in here for that long. For this long of a time, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to sit down. Give me one second. I'm, my back is kind of stuck. The colder it is, the more my back hurts. Because I have metal all up and down my back. Anyways, that doc, I'll go back to my kid in a second. That doctor that I say is racist, because of his 
way of being with me put me back and put my um, life in danger and put me back really badly. When I went to see him, I made an owl from your old videos. Oh my God, I love your painting. Paintings you make messy yet so beautiful. Oh my God, give me your address. I wanna send you one of my paints. It may take me time, even up to six months to get it out to you because I don't drive. But holy moly, send me your address and I'll send you one of my painty painties. I have extra owls if you want one. <sighs> oh my God, you put the glare back in my eye. Oh, my eyes, I have two eyes, not one. <laughs> I have two eyes. Oh, thank you. Oh, you wait, I wanna see your owl. <gasps> I'm getting excited. I had to pull my glasses off. Oh, thank you. I do. I love making a freaking mess. Oh, yeah. Yes, I will send you one of my painty painties. I usually charge. I Back in the day, I would charge my postcards. They cost um, $7, and that includes postage. Uh, obviously, that has to go up to, like, I don't know. I haven't thought about it because I can't do any of that right now. But you sh I have a Patreon, which I had to close. Um, and I had a membership over... Oh, sorry. I was a teacher on Patreon. Oh, please come back. I am trying. I am. I'm trying. You're helping me right now. I, had a, I still have it, but I had to close it. But it's still there. It's viable. I give classes. $20 classes, you either get a membership for a month or pay per class. I have some awesome how-to steps, DIY, how-to step-by-step. Make things that nobody else can teach you to make because they're my original ideas. Um, when I get that up, I'm going to be so excited because I have so many. I know that art can't... People have said... Art cannot be original because it started somewhere in the first place, but I disagree. I totally disagree because I have some things that nobody has come up with on some videos that are private paid only, but I also have created many videos here. Um, like my CD butterfly, my CD feathers. Nobody has ever done that. My, um, oh my God, have you seen my um, nail polish video? My nail polish video for my nail polish flowers? That is an original idea. Nobody has done it with nail polish. I came up with that. I started that on Pinterest and then I came up with the how-to on, on YouTube. I have four more videos put away that I've sold a few of them, not many, um, that are original ideas. Don't cry, beautiful. You are not invisible. Your way of expressing is needed for people like me. Ay, que linda que eres conmigo. I think you will be my best friend. <laughs> Aww. I, mean, I might be too old for you. <laughs> Oh, um, anyways, give me your address. Um, do you have a TikTok? Butterfly, do you have a TikTok? I'm just trying to figure out how you can message me. I want to, I have a few ways, but I want to know if you have a TikTok first. Oh, and a TikTok account as a viewer or as... A creator, I don't know. Are you a creator here? Oh my god, I'm going to ask you a million questions. I'll wait for you to answer. Oh, actually, I don't think I need to wait because you can be typing at the same time. Are you a TikTok creator or viewer? Are you a YouTube creator? Do you have an email? Would you like to share your name? Here or in message? Would you accept a postcard from me for free? 
just because I'm, I like you. I like the things that you've said to me. And do you mind sharing your age just so that I can get to know you a little bit? Oh my God, I'm being too pushy. Sorry, you don't have to. Of course you know that. I'm going to have to um, lean this towards me so that I can see what I'm doing because I'm sitting down now. I will probably pay for this physically later tonight, and I'll be grateful if I don't. But I'm preparing my brain to understand that I may go into a shitload of pain because I'm enjoying myself right now. This side, I think it's going to be really simple. The other side is going to be aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> this side is a lot. But once it dries, I'm going to figure out what, what it needs. For sure. I'm going to make it look more of a bouquet. Maybe. But I, I, I can see that it needs work. But like I said, I like to create... Uh, and work on my messes because my messes become the one of the best things ever. So I have faith in this piece. Mm. So my son is 30 something, right? I'd rather just say that. Um, and I don't know why I was even bringing him up. And then I have a 26 year old and then I have a 22 year old and I'm 47. So yeah, I had him young and I'm still with the same partner and we've been together uh, 28 years. He is not the father of my first son, but he was in my son's life since my son was three. So he is considered my son's father in my opinion and in his opinion. So I'm trying to figure out Butterfly how to get your address. Um, do you have an email? Do you know how to go into my descriptions on my videos? Because if you do, my email is in there. If you don't, I'll put my email right now in the chat box. And right there you can send me your address. So that I can send you a postcard. Oh, you're 36. I'm 36, but I've been through so much in life. I question why. I question. Oh, and after I read this, you can delete it. Okay, because this is public. People are going to be able to see this later. So go ahead and feel free to delete. But let me read it first. I question why me a lot. But I always try to understand. I am told. Oh, wait. I'm not going to read it out loud. Duh. Oh, ah, I'm a Pisces too. I was born March 6, 1975. Okay, so do you want me to put my email here? I, 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 believe, I believe you that you've been through a lot at 36 because when I was 36, I was a mom of three. And I was going through my own battle. Do you have children? Um, my battle when I was 36 was understanding where and who I was at the time. Um, because all I knew was to be a mom. And I felt that I missed out on college. And I missed out on other opportunities. I just didn't know who I was. And I was self um medicating myself in a sense with cigarettes back then which I don't anymore um, this one I think I'm going to do this panel I'm going to do different because I want her my niece to have options on which side she wants visual because my taste may not be her taste so she one day can use this side one day she can use that side you know what I'm saying so oops 
I'm gonna let this be. I'm gonna let this one be. Oh wait, let me stick some greenery in there. <clears throat> 36, and you're an old soul. My 25 year old is an old soul. All of, well, my two girls, they're beautiful girls. Um, okay, that's fine. But you can delete whatever you put here. I don't mind. Go ahead, delete it. And I won't say it out loud anymore because I just realized by me saying it out loud, it's going to stay on the video. But I'm more than open to not publishing this video. I can delete it and not let it publish. I have no problem with that. I mean, who's going to sit around and watch a long video? I would, but I don't know if very many people would. Hi, baby. Do you have food? I'll go right now because you're, yeah, you're important to mom. Hang on. Oh, I'm keeping you company too? Okay. What are you doing? Let me put my email right here. Write it down. Mm, where's my keyboard? Are you, I'm in Los Angeles. I don't know if you're anywhere near. You could delete wherever you're gonna, whatever you're gonna put, you can delete it. I won't read it out loud anymore. Here's my email. There you go. Let me go feed my cat real quick. And if you gotta go, I understand. And I don't move fast, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Have you ever met anybody from Costa Rica? Oh, I did ask you quite a few questions. Have you answered any of them? Have you heard of... Oh, I'm not supposed to say that out loud. Shut up. I'm going to read it to myself. Yes, I've heard of that place. Not too far from me. Okay, so what do I need to add in here? By the way, did you want to tell me your name? Or are you undercover? <laughs> that would suck if you were undercover and you're, you were an ex-best friend that I have had or an ex-friend. <laughs> that would suck. The reason I say it would suck is because... Um, they're probably ex-best friends for a reason. Which, if one of my old, um, not significant other, well, I don't know why I'm saying that. If an old friend is watching and being nosy, you're not going to find anything here. My life has changed so much for all those people that I used to know. I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to put this side down. I'm standing back up again. This side's going to be a special side, so I'm going to leave that side for last. I, I'm still going to ink. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to ink up the edges. I'm going to ink all of this up. I might do some dripping. That's going to look cool. If this were my personal piece, I would do a heck of a lot more to it. 
because I love, love my own art. I really do. So I would take this piece way far further, but it's my niece and she has her likings and I respect that. Since I asked to do her piece, I respect that. Let me clean this up. Uh. Oh. I follow somebody too, but he um, he has a dog rescue and he does cooking in Costa Rica and rescues dogs. My daddy went to pass away in Costa Rica. My mama, she's still here. My dad came to the United States a long time ago in the 50s or 60s, something like that. And he came by himself Hang on a second, I'm getting cold again. He came by himself. He worked for a while. He promised my mom to bring her back to the United States. Is it Cassandra? Um, I'm not familiar with the how to pronounce the X for some reason. Um, anyways, so maybe you can help me with how to say your name. My real, my, my real name is Sigrid. But everybody calls me Sigrid. That's my nickname. But I prefer everybody to call me Sigrid, my birth name. So yeah, he promised to bring her back. He already had two kids with my mom, which are my sister and my brother. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to put my greenery down first. I'm learning as I'm going. This is my first time ever doing these things. Sandra. Okay, thank you. And he promised my mama to bring her back, um, to bring her to the United States. Let's see, this one's in the middle. That one's on the side. All right, this one's gonna go somewhere here. So for this one, I'm gonna not, I'm not going to glue it down first. I'm going to, you okay, Pixie? Hi, baby. You want a cookie? I'm going to place everything down first. And then put down my flowers. That's what I'm going to do. I think that would be smart. Sandra. Any way is fine. But what is your preferred way? The manic. That's great. We take what we can from people. We take what we, we, we nourish ourselves how we can nourish ourselves, no matter if it's from looking at the sky or from looking in a children's, a child's eyes, you know, or looking at ourselves in the mirror when we're ready. Kind of looks like fairy wings, doesn't it? I think I just put this piece down. Yeah, I did. So I'm just going to pull out a bunch of these right now and see where I place them. We have four viewers right now. So that makes three people. Oh, well, not three because I'm, I'm considered a viewer. So we have two people chilling in the back. Handra. Handra? Is that right? my 
not going to do this down here. I'm going to not do that yet. I'm going to set these up. Hi, Pico. Mom's going to go right now with you, okay? Give me, give me a little bit more time, baby. Let's see. Si es correcto. Okay. I know that's the back, but it's pretty. Do I do that? Oh, hydrangea. I know that would be nice. That would be beautiful. I can wait and wait till I get one. But then that means my niece's living room will stay looking like a druggy house, crackhead house. trying to look at it from way up here I went through a mental breakdown a few weeks ago and I cut off all my hair my hair was all the way up to my butt and I went into the restroom and I was going through a mental breakdown <laughs> and I grabbed my hair and razor I even did a video on it nobody knew I was having a mental breakdown I just acted like I was just cutting my hair Um, but yeah, I was going through it and I got the razor and started chip, 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 chip. It's beautiful. This one here? Do you have any suggestions? Should I just do that one flower and see what that looks like? Excuse me. I also thought of just putting only this. My haircut video? That make you cry? I also have this one. Okay, take the leaf off. <laughs> this looks gorgeous. Is it a go? Just how I have it? Okay, great. Sounds good. But I'm thinking it leads just some leaves in random places in the background. What do you think? I'm agreeing with you. Just how I have it? All right. This is going down. All right, so my first thought is to I'm gonna shake this up. This one, this one that I'm gonna pour has water in it. So we're gonna do this one first. Do you like thrifting? I love thrifting. Give me one second before I make this. This way I'm gonna put
little greenery in there because if not, I'm going to regret not putting greenery in there. Let me see what it looks like in the camera. Like that. Um, you're back. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I have some of those servietas. Yes, I'm still here. You didn't invite me to your shower? Not nice. Okay, greens are needed. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't pour that paint. I mean, the glue. How do you like this one, Kellyanne? so you guys can see the whole thing. Oh, I can feel the other one stuck. Okay, right there. Let me move. Okay, cool. Thank you, Kelly. Right now I'm just deciphering, deciphering, deciphering. Yes, looks like a masterpiece. Thank you. Do 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 do. Back where you were. Let's see if I top that. Let's see what I top it with. Ooh, how about some of these in here? Servilleta. The embroidered ones. Yeah. Those are really pretty. Thank you. So I can cut this off. I'm still going to keep the stick because you never know what you're going to use it for. Either I use that one or that one. Most of these are from my garden or other people's gardens. Whoops. This is the way the other one was supposed to look. But it'll get there. For sure. Oh, I like the way that one looks. It's like a pop. So what do you say? The yellow one? Or that purplish one? Or this purple one? So one, two, or three? Ooh, we got one yellow. Te mando flores from Seca. I love that song. I don't know that song. Who sings it? Oh, 
honestly, I probably do know the song. I just don't know names to songs. Yellow. Because I sleep, when I sleep, I sleep with music on. Because I have a problem with my ear. I can hear my heartbeat in my ear. Fonseca sings it. <laughs> Duh. I'll have to um, write that down. Let me write that down. Let me sit down for a little bit too. Oh, Fonseca. I don't know who Fonseca is right now. <sighs> Take a rest with me, you guys. That's not a pin, Dingleberry. Let's see. Oh. Why is it so difficult to find a pin, yet I'm an artist? You have a feeling I do? So anyways, I sleep with nothing but, like, Latin American music. But I do love me some Fleetwood. listen to music let me look up what you're saying because I won't even put this video up oh wait I'm monetizing it I can't do that because I actually am monetizing this live oh thank you I'm sitting down I'm taking a rest I hope you don't mind oh my goodness I don't know how long I need to rest for though so what am I going to do? Oh, you know what I need to do? If you guys don't mind, we can continue chatting. Please continue chatting. Um, Kelly, you finally smell great. You smell fresh, girl. Finally, you smell fresh. I'm going to give you that. You smell fresh today. But I still expect you to shower tomorrow. No showering once a week. We are each other's company. All right. What are you working on? Is anybody working on anything? <laughs> well then, if the odor is still around, then that means that it, I need a shower. Maybe Sandra needs a shower. But um, I gotta scroll back up because I don't think that's your name. I think I got it wrong again. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Handra. Is it Handra? Oh my, you're going to have to forgive me for a bit. I have a few things I want to do. And since I have company, very good company. Ooh, I just finished an order of nine two by two paper quilled wall stickers. That sounds interesting. I don't know what that is. Paper quilling, is that where? <sighs> that, little, that little contraption that, a jig, I think it's called a jig. And then you stick the little strips of paper in there You stick little strips of paper in and then you spin it and you make things out of that. Is that what a quilling is? I think that is what quilling is. Janet had sent me had sent me a quilling set. I am like I said, I haven't done anything really except for today with you guys. I'm picking my nose just so you guys know. Long thin paper trilled in a curler. Yes, makes curly paper shapes. All right, what did you make? Wait, did you say what you made? No, I just finished an order of a nine two by two. 
that is so cool. You can um, Google what it looks like. Right now I'm using my computer and my phone, so I can't Google it. And I would put music on. Oh, I'm supposed to write that name down. But I'm monetizing right now. <laughs> Sácate los mocos. Oh, I could show you my daughter. Let me show you the um, the little one. That's my daughter. She cute and she knows it. Ooh, here's a picture of me when I was about 15 or 16. I was a hoochie mama. I was skinny. <laughs> oh, did we have the same bathing suit? <laughs> he was skinny. Mira la Sofia Vergara, Vergara, con las nargas y los lentes. Mira la. Que hot. Okay. Un cuerpazo. I still have a great body. I will give myself that. And I'm still pretty. And my my I like who I've grown up to be. But yeah, nothing like youth. Nothing like it. I want to suck the blood of my children. No, that sounds creepy. Sofia, mira la Sofia. That's gonna forever be stuck on my head now. Okay, that goes there. Don't go far. What's next? This one we will put down. But before we put that one down, let's put these down. I have a great body too. A great big body. Me too. I prefer bigger bodies, believe it or not. No, I don't want to say that. Believe it. I I like bigger bodies. Women, I think they are Okay. Thin women are beautiful. But my preference is a, a thicker body woman. Whoops, I just moved all of that. Okay, this is gonna go here. I think I need to stand up again. We're gonna do this whole dance of standing, sitting, standing, sitting, but I will take that because I am arting. I'll look at the chat in a second. A, a big sexy beast, yes. I love thick women. Ooh. I love thick women. I am bisexual. I'm not even, I'm not ashamed of that. Let's see. I don't remember where this one went. Okay, but let's get these other ones down. But before, let me remove my puddles. Hello, Pixie. Is this stressing you out that mom is up and not with you? I'm sorry, baby. 
But I'm with you right here. You need to come over here. Picosa. Ben. Picosa. Oh, you're going to bully me? No bullying your mother. Okay, I hit these. I don't know what I did. Okay, I'll look at the chat. Give me one second. I've made earrings from this particular flower. I don't know the name of it. I made earrings from these one time and I sold them for $60. It was worth the $60, but I was so grateful to myself for even selling them. In my lifetime, I've, I've sold at flea markets, lots of them, different kinds of neighborhoods from poor neighborhoods to we very wealthy neighborhoods. Um, I only say that because I've challenged myself a lot in the past so it's something to feel good about pixie stop mommy anyways um i'll look at the chat in a second let me see uh, i'm gordita now gordita pero bonita what is that what's his face sings uh, uh what's his face baby something baby is it baby you guys know, bad bunny, bad bunny, bad baby. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I'm going to, you don't have to be kidding. Pero con curvas, what people call thick. Yo tengo muchas curvas. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bogavilla. Bogavilla. Bogambia. What? Did you lose your mind? What language is Bongovia? Am I reading that wrong? I am very well known to read things wrong. When we were driving, my boyfriend and myself, we were driving and I read acupuncture aki, which it did not say acupuncture aki. It said masa. Vendemos masa aquí. And I read, babe, they do. Oh, it was called Acapulco. Vendemos masa is what it said. But I read it as. What did I read it as? Acupuncture massage aquí. And everybody in the car was trying to figure out what the hell I was saying. My brain was on drugs my medical my medicine my my um my drugs that i take right now for oh my god i feel like i'm losing my brain give me a second i've messed this up somehow it was prettier earlier where where did that go that flower isn't it the plant you just glued which one <laughs> what did I do? Okay, this one? Mommy, where do I put this one? How, come over, get over here. Where does this go? Darn it. Can I rewind? Let me see if I can rewind so I can see the dang placement. I should have taken a picture. Pendeja. Let's see. Secret? Oh, I could. Hang on. I could, I could, I could. I could, I could, I could. All right, I'm rewinding right now to see where these things go. All right, and I can't see chat because I'm looking at where these things go. I'm rewinding my life. All right, so this one goes here. like that this one goes here there was one that goes here okay where'd it go right here I can't see the chat hang on this one goes here all right I'm the biggest heavy-handed gluer that 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 exists unless 
unless you can beat me on that. All right, that goes there. This one. Oh, I see where I went wrong. This one goes here. This one goes here. That one goes on top. We're getting it, we're getting it, hang on. I can't see the chat yet. But I'm being a wackadoo right here with this glue. This, move your hand secret. This goes down this way. That goes down that way. This gets pushed in more. There we go, we're getting somewhere. I can't see the chat yet, girls. Kalmesen, kalmesen, kalmesen. If I come back to the chat and you guys are misbehaving, you're getting kicked out. So I think I'm gonna take the stem off of that one. And so this one, this one goes up here, right? No, it's not that one. Give me a second. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes here, but it twisted a little bit like that. This goes there, that goes there. That goes there, and then there was one here. I'm missing it. It's right here. So what goes here? Okay, a purple one. Is it this one? Yes. Say nothing about the amount of glue that I'm using. That goes there. That goes there. And we decided on this yellow one. All right, cool, I think I got it. I know Kelly must be saying something about the amount of glue that I'm using. So what I did is I rewinded my live, but you guys are watching me um, real time, but I'm not, because I needed to see the placement of these. All right, now I can go back. That goes there. That goes there, that goes there. Did I get everything? Yes. Okay, now let me go back into live. All right, let's see, who said what? <laughs> nope, nope. Echale mas goma. Echale mas goma. Hello, Vanessa. Who just farted? Era de, el de atrás. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Vanessa. Angel Rose Design. Hey, I didn't see you. Thank you. Shh. Don't tell her. We are talking about her. Please talk about me. Please talk about me. That means that I exist. <laughs> I think she got it totally covered enough in glue to make two more lanterns. So happy it dries clear. <laughs> Arr, I have to. I don't even think it has enough glue. What do you think? This thing is gonna weigh a ton but at least we got it covered. Right, right. So I'm gonna start in little sections. 
All this was on purpose, Kelly. Palomita. All of this. Palomita means butterfly in Costa Rica. But does it mean popcorn in Mexico? Girl, I'm your... I'm glad you're here too, Vanessa. What time is my next dose of medicine? Because I'm feeling my rods right now. But that's okay because I have great company right now. Did you think that was enough glue? Oh my God, I have to pee. Be right back. Didn't you just pee in the shower? Isn't that what normal people do? If you've watched my previous videos, I'm obsessed with glue. I eat glue. I eat glue. I belong to a group of ladies that eat detergent. And I eat glue and they eat detergent. There's other people in the group that have personal relationships with cars. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I'm sure there's groups are out there though. How are you doing, Vanessa? Are you still doing YouTube videos? Vanessa has a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God. I need to go to Aldi and get the, um, the, they have right now, they have big, good sales, but they have, oh, as a matter of fact, if anybody, if any one of you guys have a cat, they have really good sales on cat clawing, um, little houses what are they called cat trees tree cats i don't know what they're called for like three dollars <gasps> my cat's too fat for it she's well fed um but i need to go because they have this reusable pee pad for dogs and it it's cashmere and it's 9.99 but i need it because i need to put it underneath me because i do um hydrotherapy with uh, these special clay pads for my back. They're amazing. Anybody can use them. It doesn't have to be anybody special. It doesn't have to be for anything special, but they work for people that have fibromyalgia, um, body aches. I totally pee in the shower. I even have baggies in the shower just in case I go number two. <laughs> I have doggy bags in the shower just in case I go number two. <laughs> Y'all don't believe her. I saw her eat glue live a while back. <laughs> Actually, this is not a fake story that Vanessa is saying. It is a true story. I tend to be extra funny and sometimes I take it too far and I'll eat glue one time with my kids there was this fruit bug bothering the heck out of me while eating and I grabbed it and I ate it and the kids were like mom screaming I I get a kick out of certain weird things man like taking a shit in the shower I get a kick out of it I belong to this group and we send each other poop bags it's a true story if you guys want to sign up just send me 99.99 and you guys will get one in the mail no joke oh you still do videos that's great i have not been on youtube for a while can you hand me the velcro roll that's right next to the scanner please on the left of it. Left. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do 
Yes, Vanessa has a YouTube channel. Nine ninety nine, and if you act right now and you PayPal me, I'll send it within twenty four hours because I need to go use the restroom anyways. Imagínate. How about these people that are selling farts in a bag? Ain't that something? I'm open to selling my underwear for sure. Like I, I'm open to doing that. I, or my socks, feet picks. I'm open to that. I am not biased. And caca bags. I can do that. Bolsitas, bolsitas. De cagamento. Ooh. 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 <laughs> You did it. You did it to yourself. There was one time where I did this same, not this same thing, but I used paint, I mean glue for our journals. Back in the day, there was this lady, Shannon Green. I'm going to be honest with you. Shannon Green, to me and for me, is racist. Yeah, she might be your favorite. She may hear me say this. I don't care. I'm a girl that stands by what she says. I will not back down. But if I'm wrong, I will be the first to listen and the first to analyze myself and apologize and fix it. I am also that person as well. So I'm not always correct. I know this. I'm gonna stick a flower right there. Cause there's a big puddle of glue, I might as well take take advantage of it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Shannon Green. Back in the day, she had this thing going that made her very popular. Actually, got her a job with a big company. Um, I can't stand her. She can't stand me. She cannot stand me. The reason I can't stand her is Elotero. <laughs> Ay, sabes que yo no como elotes de la calle. Sabes por qué? I'll say this in English in a little bit. But before I do, let me show you. I've had these saved for over 30 years. No joke. I just found them right now. Anyways. Um, no como los elotes de, de la calle porque una vez andaba yo no sé a dónde. Y que voy viendo uno, un elotero. De elotes, elotes. I mean, you do you. But this is me and I can't get rid of this trauma unless I just see you out and I know that they're fresh I'll eat one but otherwise I will not I'm not talking for every single elote but this was my experience andaba yo par donde estaba parqueada uh, vino un señor vendiendo los elotes y él no me vio en el carro verdad y había un lugarcito ahí que estaba bien cubrido Y él pensó que nadie lo estaba viendo y se puso a cagar. Ahí mismo. Usó el papel que tenía ahí, pero no usó nada para lavarse las manos. Me dio un asco que eso pasó que más que unos 10 años, tal vez más. Pero siempre me pongo a acordarme de eso y no. Pero eso sí me como unos tacos. Unos tamales, pero... <laughs> so one time I was chilling in a parking lot somewhere like something like that and there was this uh, man that sells elotes which is corn on the cob and they put mayonnaise chili whatever you want on it 
And they're usually a dollar. I don't even know how much they are anymore because I have not bought one since then. He didn't think there was anybody in my car and I was in my car, sir. Just in case you're watching. <laughs> he took a shit and he used the paper on the napkins that he uses to wipe himself. Great. Fine. Glad you wiped yourself. But. But. What is that noise? Oh, my dog's snoring. I swear it's not my butt. It's my dog snoring. Um, he didn't use anything to wash his hands. Come on now. And then the other thing that gets to me is the the uh, mayonnaise being out for so long. And then the hot sun. No. I mean, some of them will have a chest with ice. Let me refresh my page real quick. With ice and they'll put their mayonnaise and the cheese and all that inside the ice chest. I'll do that. But it's very rare to see um, an elote person selling elote with an ice chest. How about that yellow piece right there? Oh. Yes. Where's my chat? My chat disappeared. Hang on, ladies. And I need to sit down again. Oh my gosh. All right, I see you. All right, cool. Oh, 9 30 10 11 12 1 2 3 3 30 all right why won't my picture come back up this because I need to test it there we go I got my picture back and I see beautiful yes all right cool so um anyways I don't I don't and don't judge her from for my incident with her that's what I say don't judge her for my incident with her um I was run, helping run a group through Cinnamon Cooney, the Sherpa. I was help running a Facebook group and I was the major person. And then we had Maricha and she was the technical person, but I was the, the, the main um, promoter, let's say that. This idea that Sherpa came up with, with her lives and her Facebook group, well, her life she did on her own with her husband, but her Facebook group, I, Myself and Maricha, um, junking something junking data girl, put together and we put hours and hours and days and months into that Facebook group, and we would add people and take people out and you know we were security there as well, as admins we were admins. Anyways, when that Shannon Green came in. Oh, she hated the fact that I was superior to her. That's the way she's seen it. Uh, she wrote long essays. And she had personal Facebook groups of me. Just bashing me. And that's how that went. Um, that's why I don't like her. Because she totally hated me for, for no particular reason. Yet she wrote essays on me and she would send them out to other people that I knew and uh, those other people joined her her hate group towards me 
how how do we feel about this here? No, huh? I don't think so. How about there? We'll call that space one, space two. <laughs> Space three. Or is it done? So anyway, she has a um, YouTube channel. I don't know if she still does. I don't keep up with her. Oh, am I frozen? Hang on. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to end this one and come right back in. Here. All right, I'm gonna end. Oh, I see what's going on. So my phone is dying. Is what's going on? Pin your chat. You can now message. Got it. Okay, you see me now? All right, cool. I need to find myself now. Give me a second. Can somebody say you see me? 
I need to find my life. Oh, I'm glad I didn't fart if you guys are still seeing me. YouTube switch account. Um, where's my live at? Oh. History. Show more. Library. Your videos. <sighs> live. Close. All right, I see you. I think I'm getting to you guys. Give me a second. Um, it says I'm live. Customize. Close. Mm -hmm. That is on. I don't know, it was so much easier earlier. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to um, add in analytics. I just can't see my chat right now. Give me a second. Chat messages. I need to sit down. Give me one second. <laughs> while live streaming. I don't even know how I did this earlier. Mm, I'm going to have to call it quits already tonight then, guys. Um, my pain level is rising, even though I'm sitting down. And I'm going to hate it if I have to deal with more pain tonight just because I sacrificed staying on right now. So... I, I'm grateful to get be getting to know you guys. Uh, hang on. Mm. Let me let me switch the camera. Whoa! <laughs> I'm grateful to to being back and getting to know you guys. You look. Yeah, I cut my hair really short. Like it was all the way down. Far, far down. So I could see your chat right now. If you chat. But I'm going to have to say goodnight. Matter of fact, I'm getting cold. My back is pretty much upset at me. So I'll try to come back tomorrow if I recuperate correctly. Thanks for being here, Butterfly and Kelly and Vanessa. I will try my best to come back soon. I really will. Um, but yeah, my back is killing me. I was having such a good time. It was distracting me in a sense. I could still feel my pain, but it was distracting me. But thank you for supporting me. Come and hang out with me. Um, I will try to come back earlier. And I'll try to come back. I'm just making a lot of promises. I'm just hoping that I can keep them. So I'll do my best. And um, I wish all of you guys well. A lot. Um, I know we were in the middle of a story. But I just can't right now. So I'm going to go lay down. And then I'm going to. Sorry I have my eyes closed. Mm, thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah it's getting bad. I'm going to go be cozy. I'm going to go get on TikTok. You can follow me on TikTok. I'm not sure if any one of you guys have it. I think. Look how nice this beanie is. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hang on. I need to go lay down. It was good while it was good, right? And I'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Bye, guys. I'll wait for you guys to say goodnight, and then I'll end the live. I don't think I'm going to upload it. I don't know. We'll see. Say goodnight.
Good night, Kelly. Take a night, Vanessa. Unless you left. It's like the jumper room. Was that what it was called? Good night, Kel. <laughs> was it the rumper room? Buenas noches, mommy. Make sure you email me. Kelly, email me your, your address. I have a special something for you. Okay, I guess Vanessa's gone. Good night, guys. Bye. Now I gotta make sure I hang up because if not, you guys are gonna watch me. Okay, good night.